Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Would you and the Marine Corps League Patriot Detachment members, Veteran Advisory Committee members, and um, in fact, any veterans that are in the room, please come up here and join us on the floor. <coughs> Who are you? Tonight's going to be a great night, and we're starting off with going to recognize and honor three more of our North Hampton patrons, all Marines. With the parents of Marine Lance Corporal Dan Croak, Kathy Brewer, the parents of Kevin Padova, Cheryl and David, and um, the parents of Ed Cotton, Lisa and Ed, please come up here and join us. And take it front and center. So, Kev, I you don't care what I do with it? <laughs> all right, we'll try not to knock that over. As many of you know, this all began eight and a half years ago, on April 23rd, 2003, when the Board of Supervisors introduced our Northampton Patriots flag program to honor our Northampton residents serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Back then, we knew of 24 such residents and as of today, due to the expansion of the flag program to include Afghanistan and other hostile areas, we know of 71. Behind the dais is a flag display holding both military and American flags. There are 71 of them there. At one time, all were military flags, each representing the branch of service and identifying the resident with a yellow streamer with his or her name affixed to it. As each one returns home, and so far 69 have, we return his or her military flag and replace it with an American flag. After tonight, there will be 72 total flags, with four of them armed service flags that will be awaiting return to their representatives. Two Marines, one Army, and one Navy. Kevin, where are you, Kevin? There you go. Lance Corporal Kevin Padova, Mom Cheryl, and uh, David Padova. David, right here. Welcome home in Semper Fly. Thank you, Semper Fly. It was a long time coming for Kevin. He served in Iraq back in 2008, and his Marine flag was placed in the display on February 25th, 2009. He now lives with his dad in Pine Grove. But we never had the opportunity until now to welcome him home and return his flag. Mr. Kamalowski already replaced this flag with your personal U.S. flag in the display. <coughs> and now Mr. Kamalowski would do the honors presenting the flag to you. Kevin, I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you've done. Making the people of Northampton proud to have men and women like yourself who have done so much for all the people of Northampton. We are extremely a fortunate community to have such good men and women in this town. Uh, with that, we'd like to welcome you home, give you your Marine Corps flag, and say thank you for your service to Northampton Township and all the people. Thank you. Lance Corporal Dan Crow. <laughs> Uh, Dan came home from Afghanistan a couple of weeks ago and won't be home in, uh, on leave until December 26th. So he wouldn't be available at the time of the next supervisor's meeting, which is scheduled for January 25th. So he asked his mom and dad to retrieve his flag tonight as a symbolic welcome home. Not only did Dan serve in Afghanistan, but he had asked his mom, Kathy, to send some white boot socks for him and his buddies to use in Afghanistan. Well, Kathy had a surprise for him when, through the efforts of Supervisor Vince Dion and Kathy, they started a Socks for Soldiers campaign that was a rousing success. And they will give us an update on that a little later on. Back on April 27th, the Crooks placed the Marine flag that Mr. Dion is holding in our display while Dan was in Afghanistan. 
We are ready to replace this flag with David's personal U.S. flag in its display. <laughs> the honor, the honor. Kathy and George, I met your, uh, your, your son, Dan, twice. Uh, I feel like I know him about 1,500 pounds worth of socks better. <laughs> um, the chairman and Pete wanted me to come up and present this flag to you for that reason, and we're going to have another send-off, and we'll get into that in a moment. But welcome home to Dan, and welcome home for you as well. And everything that the chairman echoed, I do as well. Thank you. Scott Country could not be here this evening, but he had two proclamations done to you two guys. They both be the same. This is, uh, this one's for Lance Corporal Quirk. For your devotion to our country and for your patriotic service at a time of great need, your dedication to the goal of keeping America free has served to earn you the title of Northampton Patriot. You are truly appreciated by the entire community in this world of ordinary people. You are simply extraordinary. So you'll see that that gets to uh, Dan, and hopefully I'll have a chance to see him when he does come home on leave. And this one's for you, sir. <laughs> I guess you could have me up because you don't have to worry about it. That's it. That's it. We also have uh, Congressman Fitzpatrick's aide, Vern Ryder, who stopped by and would like to make a presentation on the gift of the Congressman. Right. Thank you. First of all, the Congressman wished for me to express his regrets that he could not be here this evening in person. But as you can well appreciate, he's rather busy right now in D.C. Thank you. I can hold it. If you no, I'm, I'm okay. I have. I was the first sergeant, so I can speak up. <laughs> uh, I'd like to present to you the flag of the United States of America, flown over the United States Capitol, at the request of the Honorable Mike Fitzpatrick, Member of Congress, presented to Lance Corporal Kevin Padova, USMC, in recognition of your service and commitment to the United States Marine Corps. Uh, dated December 14, 2011, signed Mike Fitzpatrick, Member of Congress. And this is a bit redundant, but this is the flag of the United States of America flown over the United States Capitol at the request of the Honorable Mike Fitzpatrick, Member of Congress. Presented to Lance Corporal Daniel Croak, United States Marine Corps, in recognition of your service and commitment to the United States Marine Corps, dated December 14, 2011, signed Michael Fitzpatrick, Member of Congress. One last word from the Congressman. The Congressman asked me to extend to all of you his best wishes during the upcoming holiday season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Lisa and Ed Cotton, your son, Lance Corporal Ed Cotton, third, recently deployed to Afghanistan, and you folks are here to place a Marine flag in our display in his honor while he is deployed. So at this time, Mr. Kamalowski will accompany you folks to the display to insert his flag where he will stay until he returns safe and sound from Afghanistan. Mom, here's a flag, United States Marine Corps flag, specifically for Ed. And that'll be put in there. His name is, is on this banner that is here with it. And it's a reminder for all the people who see our meetings, all the people who come to uh, Northampton to look at our, our meeting room to know we care and we thank our men and women who do such a fine job for us. So uh, to that, Mom, carry that up, and we'll put that in the dais. Thank you. 
forward. <laughs> lovely people if they would like to say a few words. So why don't we start with you, Kevin. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here tonight. It's an honor to be here. It was an honor to to go over and serve for people who can't. And, you know, it was just, I don't know, it's hard to even really find something to say. It's just, thank you. Thank you. first met Kevin, if you recall, you were sitting down here, you were already enlisted, and you came to one of these ceremonies, I believe. Yeah. And at that time, you told us that you were going to Afghanistan, or you were in Afghanistan, and, or at Iraq, and then you thought you were going to go to Afghanistan. And I said, you live in Northampton? You said, yes. And I said, we never did a flag for him. <laughs> so after that, a few weeks later, his mom and uh, dad came in and placed that flag for him. So. Glad you're back. Thank you. Uh, Cheryl or, or Dave, do you want to say anything? No? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Why don't we go with you guys? I just, on behalf of Dan, because he couldn't be here, because Leave didn't start yet, but we just want to say thank you to everyone for all their support and for all the men and women serving over there. Um, we'll keep you in our prayers and be safe and Thank you, everybody. You guys had the opportunity to stop over your house a few days before he left, and then he had the, to go in route, and I guess he's there now, so at least for Ed, which one? He is there now. He's uh, uh, Chick Bonnie, I think it is. Uh, uh, it's a little, uh, uh, you know, he jumped on a helicopter, it was nighttime. He thinks he went south because it's warm. So. <laughs> but it was cold when he left, left in Leatherneck. So that's where, you know. But anyway, I would just like to thank everybody for their support. And when Eddie came home from boot, he was as green as green could be. And he joined these guys. He joined the uh, detachment, uh, the Patriot Detachment, 1230. And I think he was still suffering with a broken nose from the crucible, <laughs> when, you know, when he joined. And uh, he came home and he said, Dad, he said, I think I'm the youngest guy there. And I said, I said Eddie, I think you're going to be the youngest guy for a long time. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, just thank you. And I see the USO over there. The USO is really, people don't realize it, but they're unbelievable. At 3 o'clock in the morning, it, when his bus came to leave, you guys were there. Thanks. very, very much. It means a lot to our family. And we'll all be here when he gets back. Just real fast, uh, again, thanks to everyone for coming out. Uh, thanks to all of our men and women who have just done a fantastic job in representing Northampton, in representing all the people. Uh, we're just so proud. And we're glad that we can do our little part here in having this remembrance for all of our men and women. Thank you so much. You know, those that serve our country in the military are at risk, whether they're here in the United States soil or overseas on foreign soil. Their lives are put on the line each and every day. Northampton and our country are proud of what our soldiers are doing for the freedoms you and I enjoy here at home. We would be remiss not to mention the fact that two of our patriots did not make it home safe and sound. And of course, they were Army <clears throat> PFC Bobby Dombowski Jr. and Army Master Sergeant Kenneth Elwell. Their American flags are in that display front and center with the black streamers containing their names. 
We'll never forget Bobby and Ken and the service they gave while paying the ultimate price. Bobby Dombowski on May 24, 2007, and Ken Elwell uh, just a few months ago on July 17, 2011. Kevin, indirectly to Dan, we're thankful that uh, you Marines made it home safely and are honored to have you as residents of North Hampton Township. To the Cottons, we wish Eddie the best. We can't wait to welcome him home next year. To all three Marines and their families, Semper Fi, thank you for your service. Take care. Keep the faith. God bless you all. And all of our